This is so beautiful. This is a cute little entrance that I love. All this local stuff that they make here. It's so charming. This is the owner. So we are officially back in San Donato. This is our room. And this is like the living area. This is the second time we come here. Actually, we were here last year and I loved it so much that I wanted to come back. Uh, and the city close to here is called San Gimignano. And that's where we're gonna go and have dinner now. So I'll come back from there. Look how I match thing. I always like this wall because it has such a good strong yellow color. But also with this whole room, I love the rustic feel. It's so, so old fashioned. Like the mirrors, the pictures, like the kitchen over there. I could open the windows here, but they recommended that we don't do it because it gets super hot. But I'll see you later, alligator. So beautiful. Oh. So basically this is the world's best ice cream. I'm talking to myself. Let's go and check it out. It's called Gelaterio Gondoli. And uh, the guy who makes the ice cream here has been um, I don't know, awarded the title of being the best ice cream person maker in the world which is not bad for being San Gimignano oh you want me to put you on camera these people don't want to be on camera so I'm not doing it I don't mind but you're crazy you mind <laughs> no she doesn't mind we are in San Gimignano I think this is the most interesting part of Italy the fact that they make these posters with like the dead people the people who died recently so here we have Sonia and like exactly, but like this is better than the newspaper. Yeah. This is fame. Good morning from San Donato. So I just wanted to show you guys the view in the morning because this place is absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Look Ooh. at this view that we have in the morning. Right now the weather is not so great, but this is absolutely ideal. This is the reason why we always come back here. Not always, but why I think I'm going to come back here forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Today, we just got up um, and I think the plan is to go to Siena. Um, which, where I've never been, but I've heard that it's beautiful and the pictures that I've seen online is very beautiful. So I think that's going to be the episode today. A day in Siena. Uh, I don't know if I should film the whole road there or the road trip, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Anyways, the others are downstairs eating breakfast, but there's something about the Italian breakfast. Seven euros for a croissant and a little bit of eggs and a hard piece of cheese there's one thing that's good in Norway it's the breakfast like I've never been a fan of the, the sweet breakfast like why are you having cookies for lunch or no for breakfast like I love like if I wake up in the morning and I find random like 
chocolates and cookies, I will eat it. But I know I'm doing something wrong when I do it. But here, it's like you're allowed. It's like, yeah, you want to have cookies for breakfast? Woo! That's basically what we would be having anyways. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna pay 7 euros for that. So at some point I'll have to find something because although this place is great, it doesn't have anywhere close to eat. Basically in the middle of farmland. So I'm like, there's no 7-Eleven. I miss my 7-Eleven actually. Excuse the crusty crusts, I haven't done anything. Good night and good day and good morning. Now I know why that woman got her weird intro. Elite social life, go and check her out on YouTube. Because you get awkward and you end up just saying random shit. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Bye! This is really cool. Oh, wow. Nice. It's back here tonight. I-5 I Where? They were with the... Uh... Shit All shit yeah. Although I would want This This is cool Although I'm not a big Mac fan I recognize it. it's cool This is the inside The normal street in Siena All buildings Fresh pasta. Okay, so this is the square of Siena, which is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it goes around, around, and around, and around. I'm a bit surprised by Siena. I thought it was gonna be, I don't know, older. Like it's very, very, very old. But I've been in the small town Volterra, which was just like it's much smaller. And this, you can see that not only are there a lot of tourists here, it's clear that there's just more going on like more restaurants more stores it's like a huge shopping street and i wasn't expecting that i thought it was a bit more local and small but also of course filled with tourists but so far i really like it we're gonna go and eat and i'll film more from there How this many? man is living the life the life went on vacation calm down <laughs> what happens on the second of july and Wait, second of July. Di Siena, that is a horse race between uh, all the different neighborhoods. The different neighborhoods of uh, Siena. And, and they take they, it very seriously. They take it really, really, very seriously. And it's basically it's here. Be there. So this is where we're having lunch. I said. Um, nice. Starter. What was it? A potato soup. Good. Very good. Potato soup. I'm gonna have homemade pasta with Valentina and beef ragu. But if I was a person who ate pork, I would have the homemade pasta with smoked mozzarella and pork sausage and broccoli. Finally, the salt came so I can have it with this water, with this bread. We can share this one. Can I take this one? Yeah, we will share this one. Perfect. This is my ragu. That's it. Okay. It's made. Uh, you should put oil on top. I will. 